Okay, I'm in my RV, and we're going to take a look at my bathroom and how I do or don't use. So this is my bathroom. That's the only bathroom I have in this RV. Uh, and it's very nice, clean, and neat. And I have it to use if I need, but I don't use it. Why? Because our community has bathhouses uh, with showers and full bathrooms. So that's what I decide to use. Uh, and owners have access to that because I do not want to clean a bathroom. Uh, I don't, I've owned a home, I owned a condo, and I don't want to clean. So this is part of my intentional moving uh, to Florida to downsize, to relocate, and to minimalize. You know, uh, lived in a vehicle for five years, and I used campgrounds and gym memberships for showers. And now, uh, it's a very similar thing. There's sometimes I still go to Planet Fitness to shower. The main thing I'm reminding myself is I have the option. I have the option to use my personal shower in my RV. I have the option to use uh, the shower houses in my community. And I have the option to, after my day, before I come home, to shower at the gym. So I have all options on the table. And uh, this is another resource. My home base is another resource, and that's how I'm looking at it, and that's how I'm using it. I uh, don't have to be here, but it's an option to be here when I want to. Okay. And so this is the one of the shower houses in uh, my community. Uh, where you have hot water, you can shower, it's open 24-7, and uh, again, no maintenance, so it's all part of the community amenities, stand-up shower, one step down, and you have a sink and a separate toilet, and again, this is just one of the bathhouses, there's several, and some are bigger than this, but it just gives you uh, another option, and that's what I wanted in a community. So you may say, hey, I love your RV, it's beautiful, but I don't see a washer and dryer. Where is your washer and dryer? It's not in your living room area. This is my living room with my sofas and my recliner and my kitchen. So is my washer and dryer in the hallway or in the bedroom? Well, this is the hallway. This is the bathroom. So there's nothing in there with regards to a washer and dryer. And in my in my living in my master bedroom, there's no washer and dryer. Even in that closet, no washer and dryer. So what do I use? Well, this community has washers and dryers. And that was one requirement that I had on my checklist for a home base. Uh, I didn't want to have to go to a laundry mat, but I didn't want to have to maintain a washer and dryer. I wanted all options. I wanted a community that has washers and dryers on site. Okay, and this is uh, one of the laundry rooms where you have washers, a, a little sink, and you have dryers. So again, this is just one of a few laundry rooms uh, in the community. And again, that's part of one of my requirements on my checklist to ensure that I had the facilities, but I don't wanna really maintain them. I'd rather just be part of the community in the HOA. So you may think I'm crazy for not using my shower or not wanting my own washer and dryer, uh, but I prefer less maintenance. Uh, I prefer buying less stuff. I don't wanna take care of a hot water heater. Uh, I don't wanna take care of a dryer vent or replace those appliances. Uh, and I looked for a community that had uh, laundry facilities and bathhouses. Uh, I just showed you uh, one of them. There's plenty, and they're even bigger than the ones I showed you. Uh, but that was a requirement for me. There was a couple requirements that I had. One is I didn't want shared walls. I didn't want to be in a condo where uh, if there's a leak, it affects me or my neighbor. Uh, I didn't want to share walls. Now, I'm on a small lot. I don't have a big piece of property. And, you know, if the neighbors made noise, you can hear. Uh, but I definitely researched, and it, it's quiet. Um, uh, I'm in the off-season, so, uh, but there are quiet hours. There's an HOA, and the rules are enforced. That's why I like an HOA, uh, because people can only make so much noise at so many hours without getting in trouble. So, like any campground, campgrounds have rules. Campgrounds pretty much have HOAs. So, uh, but either way, 
I, I just wanted to share with you, I wanted to wrap the video up because I know I made some of those uh, video clips that you saw in the beginning from like the first week I bought the property and I was excited to not have a washer, not have a dryer, uh, not use a bathroom, uh, but still have those facilities taken care of by the community, uh, by the HOA, uh, access 24-7 and no maintenance uh, that's to me that's the value of an hoa uh, you, you outsource some of your maintenance you pay for it but you're not in one sense you're not responsible for maintaining it you know you pay someone to maintain it and there's plentiful there's many washers and dryers not just the ones i showed you there's many bathhouses not just the ones i showed you and i don't have to clean them maintain them worry about a hot water heater etc etc so again some people may not like that some people may think i'm crazy it totally is not for them but remember, your life is for you. Remember, your home base is for you. You do you. I'm doing me. This is what I wanted. I wanted an RV in a community that had laundry and bathhouses. And I'm, that's what I'm thankful. I'm thankful. And I want to share with you, make a list. Do you want shared walls? Do you want a laundry machine in your place? Now, I could build a single family home here or, or I could put um, laundry facilities in my RV. Uh, or you buy a new one with it. I have full utility hookups, so I could always add that if I want to um, And I could always use the shower if I want to it's just more options. I'm an options guy I like a lot of options. Yeah, so I'm just very excited I, I'm, I love these videos click that thumbs up click that super. Thanks. Why well, these are good videos guys very good And I'm very excited to bring them to you give you the video clips give you the different perspectives of the home base after five years full-time as a nomad and um if you enjoy them, uh, subscribe, share, join, and thank you to all my members, all the positive people that have followed me throughout my journey. Truly appreciate you and keep showing up. Uh, without a home base, show up. With a home base, show up. Why? If you don't show up, your dreams don't come true. If you don't work, your dreams don't work. Never forget it.